Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the future of search engine optimization. Because, you know, we have been working with SEO based plugins and SEO based optimizations for our websites, but the future will be very different because we are moving towards LLMO or AIO, AI optimization or large language model based optimization for your websites. Now, if you want your website to be ranked and, you know, uh, if you want to make it more searchable, right, from tools like Perplexity or any web search based tools. And if you want to, you know, if you want your website to be get indexed into these searches, then you need to uh, take a new measure on the SEO side, which is which is where you bring uh, techniques like LLM or AIO, which is the future, you know, for the AI based SEO uh, for your website. Now. It's important because all these uh, AI first tools like Perplexity or uh, Ch Chat GPT has search options and Gemini and Grok, they all have a capability to search the internet. And imagine if you if you have a lot of information on your website, but it's not being uh, not being part of the searched website, you know, by this AI tool. That's where the difficulty is, right? That's where you want to bring up the new techniques. And that's what I'm going to show you that how you can do that. Uh, it's not a rocket science to do it, but the idea is probably you are not aware about it. Uh, you don't know what to do in this case, right? So uh, to be for your website to be picked up in the Google search, you have to now create a TXT file, which is more LLM or AI readable. When you work with website, you know, you keep .txt files like robotics.txt, robots.txt, and, you know, uh, sitemaps and so on and so forth. You keep a uh, lot of uh, .txt file where you keep this information that, that get basically uh, picked up uh, in the Google search. But now in the future, it's necessary to make uh, necessary to make efforts to make website more searchable, you know, by AI. And that's why it's called LLM or AIO. Okay. Uh, the, the website that you see, the modern website uh, that has been built in JavaScript and uh, web pages, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, they are very e easy to, uh, they, are, they are designed in such a way that it's easy for humans to read, you know, but for AI, there's too much of unnecessary information that gets lost within the stacks and so on and so forth, right, and the code. That's where, you know, you bring lms.txt. So we're going to talk about LLMs.txt and I'm going to show you like how how that might look like and how you can generate one. We're going to create a small project, you know, in Stimulate that will create LLMs.txt and LLMsfull.txt. And you can just keep that in your uh, website directory. If you are working with a WordPress website, keep that in your root directory of, you know, wherever you have hosted it. If you are working with, you know, uh, JS based website, you can keep that file in your uh, root directory. So I'm going to talk about LLMs.txt. If you look at here on my screen, you know, I have something called LLMs.txt generator. It's an LLMO project. Now, there are two types of files you can generate. One is a sort file, which is LLMs.txt, and then the full version of that file as well. That's what you're going to do. Now, AI, when you, when you want to uh, create these files, make sure you keep Markdown format, okay? Because Markdown is the best format when you want to work with generative AI stack altogether, not only large language models, because models are very good to understand uh, the uh, syntax trees of Markdown. So if you go a bit detailed, technically, all the structures and languages, they have their own syntax trees. And Markdown also have its syntax tree. And LLM finds it very easy to interpret and understand those syntax trees. So keep that in a Markdown formatted file. And you can keep that in your root directory. And it's, it, it's just your new sitemap. You know, sitemap for AI. If you work with WordPress, you keep a lot of sitemaps. You know, you go on Google Console and give the link URL over there of your files and so on and so forth. So this is the new sitemap that gonna be the future for the website, uh, whatever website that you are building. And of course, AI is gonna build these websites in near future. So that should be a part of an agentic flow where the agents will look at all these details and create a, a create an LLMs.txt or LLMs full.txt. So LLMs TXT is a basic version of the website structure and LLMs full.txt is more like a comprehensive version containing all documentation content in the markdown. Okay. Now there, there will be the code 
that I'm going to give it on my GitHub. So I'm not going to write a lot of, you know, uh, code here. I'm going to walk you through. Okay. So now the question can be that, okay, why should I put my effort into creating LLMs.txt or LLMsfull.txt? See, eventually, you know, you can have a website which has thousands of pages, right? But these large language models, they have some limitations. That's called context window, right? So not due to context window limitation, which limits the amount of information, you know, the LLM can uh, process at one time, making it very difficult to understand the entirety of your complex website. Some websites have thousands of blogs and you know, thousands of different pages. So traditional SEO techniques are optimized for search crawlers and cannot solve this limitation of LLM. And that's why we need LLM these pages, LLMs.txt and LLMfools.txt. Uh, it's, you know, it basically improved the content understanding of your uh, website for the AI model to understand. It could also help you, uh, help uh, in the process of information retrieval. You know, if you want to do something, improve the contextual understanding, improve the user experience, and of course the uh, context window limitations as well. Uh, easy to create, you know. Uh, now question is, what are the companies who uses LLMs.txt? I have done a research. You know, there are companies, uh, there are example site that I can share the link in description. There are Cloudflare. Uh, Cloudflare uses it, you know, uh, to, to make extensive documentations more accessible to LLMs. Uh, OpenAI uses it, Perplexity uses it, Anthropic uses it. 11 Labs have been using it to make APIs and product guide documentation that will be searched and picked up when you search about 11 Labs on these AI-based tools. So uh, now cutting it short, let's see how we can build it. So here you can look at, we have website name title. Uh, let me make it a bit bigger so you can see it. You can see website name title, then there's some overview and key topics. Now in the example, you can give the name of the uh, website. So for example, let's say I'm giving aianytime.net. Okay, so I'm gonna give aianytime.net. Okay, now in the overview, I'm gonna give it like, this is a site about AI community and then some pages. So what pages we have? Projects, blog, contact us. Okay, I'm just gonna call this projects. Projects and then we have contact us. We also have a merchandise. So merchandise store. Yeah, these are the additional notes. We, the website also has some YouTube tutorials embedded into it. Okay, simple. Now imagine if I have to create for my website, which is aianytime.net, right? How can we do that? So we have this, okay. Meanwhile, let me click on generate files. But I will go to the code. Now this is the code file, so let me show you. So what we are doing here, guys, we have a system prompt, okay. Uh, you can see the system prompt over here. You are an expert, you know, assistant that creates LLM.txt files, blah, 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 has some examples that how to create it. You can see the example JSON output. This is the JSON, but within the markdown itself. Okay, uh, make sure they are valid markdown strings. And then I have a user prompt. Now in the user prompt, I'm passing four different variables, website name, overview, key pages, and notes. You can see it over here. And then I have some remember. Now I have a prompt template. Now in the prompt template, I'm creating the uh, creating a prompt template using system prompt and user prompt template. I use GPT-40 mini as a large language model for this project. And then I have a streamlit application, some titles, some, some input things, input fields that I'm taking it. And I have a button called generate files and I'm creating the arguments, prompt arcs, where I'm passing all the variables, converting into a string. And then I have a model creating a model chain using the new Langchain uh, LCEL, Langchain expression language. And then I'm just using model chain dot invoke to pass all the arguments and get all my output. And then having some session state to make sure that when I download the files, it does not get refreshed. Okay, that's it. Now I'll come here and you can see the output looks really nice, right? Let me make it a bit bigger so you can see it. We have two things, LLMs.txt, the sort version and LLMs full.txt. Now, if you look at LLMs.txt, the sort version, it says, and you can copy it, and let me go to, to use some markdown thingy. And I'm gonna show you by pasting it here, right? 
Now this is a simple LLM.txt. Uh, simple. AI anytime overview of site dedicated to AI community, some key pages, you know, additional notes. But if you look at the full one, let's take the full thing. You can see this is the full one. It has more details. Of course, you have to make it more comprehensive. I just wanted to bring the ideas, you know, that you can work if you're working on the field of SEO. If you are an SEO guy, SEO expert, then you have to learn these things to, you know, upskill yourself with these things, right? It's just using some plugins on WordPress will not help you in the longer run. So these are the new innovations that you probably have to do on that front, you know, if you are doing it. So that's for you guys. Uh, now here, you can make it more comprehensive and uh, you can do better prompting and use some external agents as well. So for example, I'll say how you can use the agent. Now you can download the files also. So you can see I've downloaded the files over here. So it downloads the file, uh, the, the file as well. You can download the file for later purposes for reference. You can just take it and uh, you know keep that in your root directory. I'll just gonna save it. Now you can use agent that will go on internet and find out if any publicly accessible, you know, uh, LLMs.txt is available. You know, that to find out, you know, if uh, if you if you can you search that and bring some more context. There is there is website, you know, that you can probably use it. Okay, to to find out, you can see it over here. It says a curated directory of products and companies leading the adoption of the LLM.txt standard. So Perplexity has it, Anthropic has it, Cloudflare has it, Vercel has it, Cursor has it. A lot of companies has it, guys. So now it's your turn to go and do that. So if you look, for example, right, uh, this is something that you can use it, and you can use this tool to create, you know, uh, these informations. A project, it can be a good project if you want to do something on your own, or if you want to create a tool, you know, that can basically just use the tool and and to build it some like open source i'll make it open source i'll i'll use some open source model as well and these also i will i will let user enter their api keys and work with it so we'll do that don't worry about it okay uh, anyway that's all i will give this link for you to read it more you know i just wanted to create a short video on to to show you how you can work on llmo or aio uh, based projects, which is the future of search engine optimization, which is the future of AI, web, web, future of websites. If you want your website to be picked up in the Google searches, so I hope you like the content. If you like the content, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos. If you have any kind of doubt, any feedback, questions, let me know in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channel. Find those information on channel banner and channel about us. That's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.